What happens is this. Everyone that points a gun at me dies. Every. Last. One. Hello people of the earth and welcome back to Quicksave TV. My name is Mike and today you and I continue making America great again, one step at a time. Today I'm bringing to you the 10 tips and tricks on how you can get rich in Fallout 4. And just as with Skyrim, this is not a map with coordinates to the treasure chest or a cheat code to get a lot of money fast. Rather, it's a set of principles, a set of strategies that you can use to get rich quickly. Now, it is very likely a lot of you would be using some of those or even all of those strategies and by the end of this video I would be curious to find out how many of you actually did and maybe there's something that you're using that I've missed and again, tell me in comments, I'm curious. Let's start off with the number one. Take away more than you brought. A common sense thing, when you go to the shop, buy things that you need but do not go overboard. Say, bring 100 cups but go away with 120. By doing this consistently, whenever you go trading, you will be able to accumulate capital slowly slowly and you will be able to save up money for late game weapons and armors. Number 2. Carry the bling set. The bling set is basically hat, glasses and clothes that you use to impress people when you negotiate with them or when you buy and sell items from them. Use that whenever you are able and always carry a set with you. It will not be too heavy. Do not pick a lot of heavy shit. Pick something practical, something you can use all the time and always carry it with you. Buy it into your favorites and do not lose it. Number 3. Invest smart and invest quickly. There's a lot of things that can help you get really rich and really quickly in Fallout 4. For example, water purifiers, the thing that is completely broken still to this day, even on survival difficulty. The scavenging stations, the adhesive farming, and the trap building, trap farming, that became available with the Wasteland Workshop DLC. Using whichever of these will be extremely helpful. Build water purifiers. If you don't want to abuse the game, build 50, build 100 of them. Don't build too many. Build some so that you have a steady supply of water. Scavenging stations will bring you a lot of new supplies that you can use to craft things or to sell them. That's very important as well. Crafting your own adhesive will be extremely important in crafting weapons and armors. And trap farming is basically put a bunch of scavengers, like we're talking about raider traps, we're talking about gunner traps, and constantly kill them whenever they pop up there. Repair the trap and keep repeating it. This way you will get drugs, money, ammunition, and new guns. Number four. Bullets are currency as well. Use bullets. I mean, buy them, get them, take them, carry them with you. If you're playing on very hard, carry them with you. Always use them as cash whenever you are able to. Use the ones that you do not care about to sell and buy. This is especially effective when your charisma is very high, but can be used by any character. And when you're playing on survival, always try to get as much ammunition as you can to trade it for caps with the traders. Because ammunition is basically second only to drugs in its efficiency, and it's something you always have to pick up when you're losing corpses. Number five, craft profitable things. We're talking steam packs right away. Anything that is not too expensive to craft and something that you will be able to use or sell back for profit. Especially effective when you're highly charismatic, but even when you're not particularly charismatic, it will save you cash. Anything that saves you 20% and above is worth considering, worth crafting. Number six, invest in trader perk. Even if you're playing an uncharismatic one charisma character, Trader allows you to buy and sell at a higher price, which is immensely cost effective for you to do. You will need a lot of cash regardless of your playstyle. You will need to buy steam packs or supplies. You will need to buy the top weapons and items in the game, which is really reliable. So even if your character is uncharismatic, it is really helpful to have a lot of cash. So get it. Number seven. Use your ammunition smartly. Remember how I told you it's money? Just like in Metro 2033, ammunition here is money. Do not blow it on enemies when you can avoid it. Use your grenades more often. Use weapons that are particularly effective at a certain range. Use melee and use mines. Avoid wasting ammo unnecessarily. Number 8. Pick your fight. Despite the fact that you can win almost any fight if you're stubborn enough, you do not have to do this. Pick your fights. Pick the enemies that are not a problem to deal with. Fuck them up, 
and move on to the next target. There is no reason to prove to the world that you can do it. I know you can. I believe in you. But do not waste your health unnecessarily. Do not blow drugs and steam packs just to prove that you can do it. It's all about smarts. It's about preserving your energy and using your resources efficiently. You don't have to spend them unnecessarily on fights that are overly complicated. Number nine, take care of your people and they will take care of you. Take care of your companions, take care of your settlers, arm them with the best weaponry and the most appropriate weaponry you can find, or give them the best armor so they can take extra punishment in combat. When you're playing on very hard difficulty, do not revive your companions with steam packs. It is unnecessary spending. They will get up on their own. When playing on survival, think Think very carefully, is it worth it reviving your companion right now? Would you not be able to handle it on your own? Would you not be able to handle it on your own and then pick your companion up from the village a little bit later? If it is necessary, make sure that you do not do it too often. Make sure you give them the best weapons and armors you can afford and constantly resupply them with stuff. Drugs, booze, whatever they're using, give it to them. It can be really helpful, especially in hard fights. And finally, number 10, be picky about what you pick. Just as the, you know, reminiscing about the video I've done for Skyrim, price per pound, the concept that we use when we pick up stuff, when we decide what is worth to pick up and what isn't, in Fallout 4, a lot of things, basically everything can have a purpose, besides very few items. Most of the things have purpose. And it's very important when you're playing on survival difficulty to know specifically which things you need. We're talking about drugs. We're talking about explosives. We're talking about bullets. Everything that is useful, you should prioritize over everything else. And when you're worrying about money, only pick up stuff that is valuable. Everything else becomes secondary after that. My, my, actually very organized today. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon.